Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Sponsored by CC Roofing and Construction Company. All right, welcome back, everyone. So it was pretty cloudy all day today. You know, it really was. If you look back at the time lapse earlier today, we had a lot of that sunshine early on in the day, fairly sunny. And then as we got into the afternoon, that's when all these clouds came in. They hung with us through the evening. And now into the overnight hours, just remaining muggy out there. And that's going to be normal as we head through this week. A lot of mugginess hanging around. That's going to keep those lows a little bit on the really warmer side, too. Today, we start off at 61, a good 5 degrees above normal. And our high was actually below normal, too. Only climbed up to 79 degrees. Should be at 84 this time of year. A record, though, 101 in 2002. And it's been as cold as 38 degrees in 1998. You can really see that humidity on our sky cam as you're looking off to the west right now. From downtown San Angelo, it's going to be staying humid, not only in the night, but also in the daytime. That'll keep the rain chances around all week, too. A lot of moisture just sitting here, and a few of those disturbances swinging overhead pretty much every day will lead to pretty much daily rain chances. Some severe storms will be possible, too, and then a lot of those rain chances probably tapering off by the weekend. We already have thunderstorms out to the west right now. Where there's a severe thunderstorm watch north of Sterling City going out towards Midland. That's where they've been dealing with some thunderstorms this evening. Meanwhile, here, had a lot of clouds over us. Uh, otherwise, pretty quiet. But look at some of these thunderstorms going on now off to the west of Midland over there towards Kermit. Actually, had one storm split into about three storms earlier this evening. It's that type of isolated activity we're going to be worried about tomorrow, too. And the reason being is because we have a cold front to our north and a dry line off to our west. Back behind that cold front, it's a little bit cooler. 52 right now in Amarillo. It's 67 in Abilene, 75 in Austin, 70 in San Angelo, and 72 in Marfa. Here in the Concha Valley, though, we're dealing with those temperatures that are mainly staying in the low 70s. OHIV at 74. London's at 73. 70 degrees currently in El Dorado, and it's 70 degrees here in San Angelo. And the temperatures won't move much more as we go through the night because dew points are in the mid 60s. So we really won't cool off much. Instead, we'll actually get pretty humid as we go through the night. And it wouldn't surprise me if the winds calm down a little bit to see some patchy fog. Right now, they're blowing about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But I think they're going to stay around that 5 to 10 mile per hour range most of the evening. Again, that severe thunderstorm watch to our north, but those thunderstorms are starting to die out. So any chance of a stray storm we had later on this evening has really gone away. It should be a pretty nice night, although it will turn a little bit on the drizzle side as we go through the evening. And you can see the thunderstorms also going on over here towards L.A. and Albuquerque. That is our big disturbance that's sitting right over us. That's what's causing those thunderstorms sitting off to our west. And until it moves east out of here, we're going to be dealing with those daily rain chances. Tomorrow, it gets a little bit closer. And that's why we have that risk of storms that tonight was off to our north. Tomorrow, it's actually going to be right on top of us. A slight risk for severe weather, level 2 risk for most areas in the northern half of the Concha Valley. The bigger threat is going to be over towards Oklahoma. But all of us under a marginal to slight risk of some of these thunderstorms. And here, we'll be having to worry about them being more isolated in nature. And that means they'll be able to produce some of that bigger hail and higher weather winds than a lot of the other activity. Let's go to 1030 in the morning here on Futurecast. Stay in with that drizzle and then watch what happens in the afternoon and evening. Some thunderstorms firing off on the dry line. If they can fire off, they'll be moving off to the east so they could get very near us and they will have the potential to produce some uh, high winds, some big hail and also maybe an isolated tornado or two, but it'll just be one or two of them that pops in the afternoon tomorrow. And then as we go into the overnight hours, that's when things will change. We'll see two boundaries kind of merge, and that'll lead to the potential for thunderstorms somewhere in West Texas to kind of get going a little bit of a cluster. Now future cast pulling a little bit further north of us, but I still think we're under the gun for a good chance of, severe, of uh, some thunderstorms, or rather Wednesday morning, then Wednesday in the afternoon climbing up into the 80s. Tonight, gonna be pretty calm, down to 65, increasing clouds with patchy drizzle possible. There will be a 20% chance of a storm or two still, although I think most of us stay pretty dry tonight. 86 on Tuesday, mostly cloudy with a few storms, about a 40% chance. And as you take a look at your extended forecast, we're going to keep those chances of storms going on through the week with the best shot looking to be Wednesday. And then also on Friday as another frontal boundary sneaks in. We'll be at 80 degrees on Friday with all the cloud cover hanging on. I know we have the West Texas or a Contra Valley Spring Jam hoping up. Hopefully we'll get all that cleared out. And then we'll stay with 20% chances of rain as we start off the new week. We'll be right back.